Monty Bear. Sit down, my friend. Did you really start when you were 11? Yeah. You weren't any good? When well, did you get was, good? It was grim. Around uh, 12, it started to pick up. In a year, that's not bad. Yeah, we're throwing out so many places, I had to get better. Hey, without finding out how old you are, you have played a long time. Yeah. Reel off a mess of names for me, of people you've worked with. Name drop for me. Carly Simon, Kiss. Uh... Wait a minute, stop right there. You've worked for Car with Carly Simon and Kiss? Yeah. I mean, that's at opposite ends of the musical spectrum. Well, I've been a studio musician for about 10 years now. I've played on a couple hundred records. And... Anybody influence you along the way? Oh, sure. Um, probably uh, Ramsey Lewis, piano-wise, yeah. and vocally, uh, Ray Charles. You play a lot of instruments? I play a few, mostly just the piano. Did you ever, in your wildest imagination, figure you go in the studio on your own, turn out the record, and have it appear as a disco record? No, that, that was a surprise, because I'm basically a rock and roll artist, but uh, it's rock and roll now is creeping into discos. I mean, rock... Yeah. If you got a good dancing record, people will dance to it. And now they mixed it sort of like disco, and now all of a sudden it's a big hit. There aren't any real names of music anymore. The Rod Stewart thing uh, wasn't a disco record until somebody went and put that little backbeat next to bass on it, and I, as I understand, he hated it. it. Turned out to be one of the biggest records he ever had. Yeah. What does the future hold for Richard T. Bear? What, what now? Well, what's going on now is we're going on a tour uh, uh, end of April through Europe. The record's really big there. The album's doing real well. And I've been working with a lot of other artists. Uh, you're, you're a low-key guy. Does that excite you? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, have a good tour. Will you do one more? Yeah, this is a thing called uh, Love and Pain, Pain in My Heart. Uh, Cher's doing it on her new album now. And uh, I heard that on yeah. a special. Yeah, she did. You wrote that? Yeah, yeah, she did it on a special. And uh, I'm writing a lot of things for a lot of people. Rick Moses, a 20th century artist, uh, co-wrote his single that's out now, uh, Baby, Terrific. Move Me. And so we're just... Rolling on. Let's hear you do your thing. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Richard T. Bear.